Son, go ahead this morning and bless him this morning. There is no one like him. From the depth of your heart, appreciate him this morning. Glorify his holy name. Worthy, 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 worthy is your name. Excellent is your name. Daddy, there is no one like you. Daddy, you are greater than the greatest. No one can be compared to you. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega. You are the one that can say the end from the beginning. Oh, Baba, we glorify your holy name. Daddy, we thank you this morning. Glory and honor be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Heavenly Lord, Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we appreciate you this morning. Daddy, because you are the all in all, because you are the all sufficient Daddy, Daddy, we thank you for another time in your presence. Daddy, even as we've gathered this morning, Daddy, we pray that you feed us again this morning in the mighty name. Daddy, you will bless us in the mighty name of you. Individually this morning, you will bless us. Collectively as a church this morning, you will bless us. Daddy, at the end of today's service, oh Lord Father, Daddy, every one of us gathered in this sanctuary, we have reasons to glorify your holy name. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We can have our seats, please. We thank God for another time in his presence this morning. And this is the redeemed Christian Church of God, Potter's Place Parish, P3. And we pray for some set of people this morning. And we know that God answers our prayer. If this is your first time of worshiping with us on a Sunday morning like this, can I just see your hand? If this is your first time, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you just be on your feet, please? Just stand on your feet. Just, just stand on your feet. Just stand on Let's just stretch forth our right hand and prophesy into their life this morning that even as they are worshiping with us this morning, that the Lord will bless them, that the Lord will increase them. But eventually, there may be something that they've been asking God for, even as they've entered into this sanctuary this morning, that the Lord will answer them. Let's just go ahead and pray. It is so in the mighty name of Jesus. You can have your seat, my sisters and our mommy. Isaiah chapter 40. Production, you can project the message. Translation, I will read from here the NKJV. Isaiah 40. And we are reading verses 30 and 31. Isaiah 40, 30 and 31. I read NKJV. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. 
God is talking about someone here this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. The message version says, for even young people tire and drop out. Young folk in their prime stumble and fall. But those who wait upon God get fresh strength. There is fresh strength in this house this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning we'll be speaking on a topic, constantly renewed. Constantly renewed. Looking at that Isaiah chapter 40, verses 30 and 31. The last part says there that they shall run and not be what? And not be well. And they shall walk and not faint. Brethren, it is not natural to run and not grow weary. But God promises us what? Supernatural power. It is normal for you to run and be tired. But God is saying he will renew your strength. God is talking about someone here this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. What are we talking about when we say renewal? Renewal means to extend the period of validity of something. Renewal is needed to extend the period of usage. Renewal stands for to bring back to life. I know there is someone here this morning. God is bringing you back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the text that we read, God said we shall mount up with wings. Like what? Like eagles. And you know one thing about eagles. The eagle is the only bird which flies so high that it is lost to sight and the earth is where we belong. Other birds, when they are flying, you will be able to see them. But for eagles, they can go to that height that you will not be able to see them. And that is the desire of God for us as his children. As you serve the Lord, you should know that he never allow you to burn or wear out. That is what we have in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, He said to me, my what? My grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in what? In weakness. Probably you are here this morning, you are tired. Probably you are here this morning, you are weary. Probably this morning you are, you are about to look him back. God is saying, I will give you strength. For you to understand better when we are talking about renewal. If you have your passport, you will go and do what? If it is five years, you go and do what? After that five years, you go and do what? You go and renew. If you have your vehicle license, you go and do what? You go and renew for you to be able to make use of it. And for me, I can say so many things about renewal because I work in the regulated industry. Every year we register our premise, we renew. Even for our product, they have their own number of years that you go and renew. And in this process of carrying out renewal, there are so many things that you have to do. They will have to come and check your industry. They will have to come and check your personnel. They will have to come and check all those things all together because they, before they can renew that particular thing. God is talking to us this morning. And one thing is sure for you to carry out that particular renewal, you must upgrade your facility. Praise the Lord. Something that you have been using, you have been using, you have been using, you cannot rely on that thing for so Even if it is machine, there will come a time that that machine will not be able to perform again, and you will have to go do what? You have to upgrade. That is what God is telling us this morning. Probably you are doing fine. You are on fire for God on daily basis. 
But where are you right now? God is talking to you. And one thing about renewal is, renewal is one of the major and consistent things in the entire Bible. From Genesis down to Revelation. When Adam and Eve, when they sinned and God blocked the way of tree of life, so that they will not live forever in the sinful state. And that is plan for renewal. We have so many examples. When you talk about Noah flood, the ark and the rainbow, you are talking about renewal. Even if you get to the book of Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26, he says, I will give you what? I will give you a new heart, talking about renewal. Jesus himself told us, and he gave us the greatest song of renewal. He said, he who believes in me shall not what? Shall not die. That's another form of renewal. And to the last book of the Bible, if you read the book of Revelation chapter 21, says there will be what? A new heaven. And all that will what? Pass away. That's talking about another form of renewal. So you cannot do without renewal as a child of God. We need constant renewal. We need renewal on daily basis. Day by day be renewed. Every day you paid, you don't know. But it's only God that can renew you. Every day you get depleted. But you have someone that you can run to. Just like you cannot have a car and say, because of the fuel that I made use of yesterday, is that same fuel that I'm going to use today? No, it's not possible. Gone forever. You cannot make use of that particular fuel again. And you know what? You cannot run today, today on yesterday's newness. Even if you are new today, by the time you are entering tomorrow, you need another newness. Put on the wing every day. And you know what, brethren? This life is what? It's a battle. You need to be what? To be renewed. Let's look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Matthew 6, verse 34. Matthew 6, 34. Quickly. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is what? Its own trouble. Each day, each day has its own trouble. Today, Sunday, that we are right now, has its own what? Trouble. Tomorrow, Monday, has its own what? Its own trouble. But where is the answer to it? Let's go to Lamentation chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. Lamentation. Lamentation chapter 3, verses 22 and 23, quickly. Though the lost mercies are, through the lost mercies, we are not what? We are not consumed. Because his, his compassion fail not. They are what? Every what? Every morning. Great is your what? So if you match Matthew 6, 34, and Lamentation 23, verse 20, Lamentation 3, verse 23, what are you saying? Today, Sunday, you have what? Trouble. And today, Sunday, you have what? Mercies available. So for you not to enter into that trouble, for that trouble not to consume you, you must be renewed on daily basis. Every day trouble. Mercies available also what? Every day. So that is why you cannot rely on yesterday anointing. You cannot rely on yesterday oil. You must be renewed on daily basis. Because every day with its own what? With its own trouble. And every day these mercies are available. Just like you go to go and fill your car, so also you must be filled. 
And you know what? No matter how sharp a knife might be, however, if it is not sharpened, it will get what? It will get dull. No matter how sharp a knife might be, however, if it is not sharpened, it will get what? It will get dull. I don't know how you, how you have been doing how you were yesterday, but I'm talking about this morning. And when you enter tomorrow, I'm talking about tomorrow on a daily basis. Yes, you might, be, you might be doing good yesterday. I mean, you, you, you might look at last year that I did it very well. And this is year 2022. You must be renewed for you to face this year 2022. You're for your spiritual life not to be dull, you need to be renewed. You need to be what? And for you to be renewed, you need spiritual strength. And God already promised us in that our test that he will do what? Give us strength. And God will give us that strength in the mighty name of Jesus. For you to renew your strength, that Isaiah 40 verse 31 says what? Those who wait on the Lord shall what? Renew their strength. Brethren, for you to be renewed. May God the source of your strength. Not man, don't wait for someone to input strength into you. No. It is God. Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things. Through what? Through who? Through Christ who strengthened me. Not through your pastor. Not through your brother. But through who? Christ. So you must wait on the Lord. You must wait on the Lord. You must know that it's only God that can give you that strength. The psalmist said in Psalm 28, verse 7, it says, the Lord is my what? The Lord is my strength. God wants to be your strength. God said to Paul, that the place that we have just, that we read before, 2 Corinthians 12, 9, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in what? Weakness. If you go to the Lord in your utter weakness, he will exchange this for strength, and that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. And not only spiritual now, even physical, even in mental strength, God will give it unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he is the fountain of all wisdom, and quicken our mind as we wait before him. So you must wait on the Lord for you to renew your strength. That's the first thing. And the number two thing that is very, very important, that is what? We have to pray. You have to do what? Pray. And when I'm talking about prayer here, yeah, I'm not just talking about ordinary prayer. I'm talking about praying in the Holy Spirit, praying in the songs. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 says, Paul says, pray at all times in what? In the Spirit. With all prayer and supplication. Pray at all times in what? In the spirit. Jude 20 says what? Pray in the what? Pray in the Holy Spirit. When you are tired, when it looks as if the end has come, when you don't even know what to say, pray in the spirit. The book of Corinthians says we encourage ourselves when we do what? When we pray in the tongues. When you feel empty, when you are discouraged, the solution is open your mouth and pray in tongues. The atmosphere will change. And that will happen here this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Say the atmosphere will change in the mighty name of Jesus. We are talking about God this morning. When you renew your strength, something will change in the spiritual realm. And you are on your way to recovery when you are renewed. Elijah became weary in doing a great work for God. He calls out to God and God gave him rest and nourishment and his soul was restored. Your soul will be restored here this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We can all talk about Samson. Even at that particular hour, after his year was caught, his strength failed. But God restored his strength one last word, one last time. 
He asked, and God gave it unto him. God, we answer you here this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We are still talking about that prayer. You cannot be renewed without prayer. You cannot. You cannot. It's not possible. It's very key. It's very important for you to be renewed. And when we are talking about prayer, there are two important forms of prayer. The one that I call short door and upper room. Praise the Lord. Short door and what? And upper room. In the life of every Christian, there must be the short door. That's the private prayer. The prayer that you pray on your own. The prayer that you pray in the corner of your room. The prayer that you go and pray on, that, on top of that mountain. On your own. Between you and your God. Short door. Also in the life of the church, there must be an upper room. That's the public prayer. And we are going to pray that prayer this morning. As a church. As a church, upper room, and we are going to experience that upper room experience in the mighty name of Jesus. Geo talking in open heaven in this particular month. He was talking about top up your fuel tank. Let's look at Mark chapter 6. Mark chapter 6. Let's quickly look at verse 31 and 32. Then we look at verse 46 and 47. Mark 6. And he said to them, Come aside. By what? By yourself to a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they did not even have time to eat. Let's move to verse 46. And they departed to a, yes, 46. And when he had sent them what? Away. He departed to where? To mountain to pray. 47. Now, when evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea. And he was alone on what? He was alone. So for you as Christians, for you to be renewed, there must be a time that you'll be on your own. There must be a time that you'll be the only one praying. That you'll be crying to your maker. That you'll be asking from him. That's what we call the church door. You are the only one praying. Private prayer. You need that for the renewal. So there is no substitute for it. You as a Christian, you cannot do without it. So also for us as a church, there is no substitute for public prayer in the life of the church. The church was born where? In the upper room. The church was born where? In the upper room. That is why when we come together as a church, we have to pray. We cannot do without praying. So that's another type of prayer for us to be renewed. And we are going to carry out that one in the mighty name of Jesus here this month. So you have a role to play. And the church also, we have a role to play. We are going to play the role of the church here this morning. But when you get home, when you are in the corner of your room, when you have that opportunity, you must do that particular shoulder, that particular private prayer. You must do that on your own part. But for the public prayer, for the proper room, we are going to do it here this morning. And we'll be all, every one of us in this sanctuary will be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. And then we'll be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. Talking about that upper room, in Acts chapter 2, verse 4, we were told that all of them were filled with what? Holy Spirit. Every one of us here, God is going to fill us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. It is in such upper room that the greatest business in the world is transacted by the church under the presidency of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. We are here this morning. And we have the Holy Spirit in our midst. And every one of us will be renewing in the mighty name of Jesus. Renewal can come from private prayer and also public prayer. Like I said, the private, handle it yourself. But for the public, we are going to handle that here this morning. And the Lord will renew us in the mighty name of Jesus. But before we go ahead this morning, you know one thing about renewal? 
It's not possible for you to renew a car. That was at not, not, there will be a time that that particular car will be what? Even if you, you, you bought it what? Tokumbo. But someone somewhere used it from day one as what? Brand new car. And that is why you can renew. So it's not possible for you to renew something that was never new at all. That there was no record about it that that thing was new. It's not possible for you to renew that thing. So it's very possible at a particular stage becoming old, old, old. And you'll be what? You'll be renewing. You'll be renewing. That is what we have in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If anyone is in Christ, he's what? He is a new creation. All things are what? Pass away. Behold, all things are what? So it is when you've accepted Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. You are now a new man. That is when you can be saying, God, renew me on a daily basis. God, renew me. So if you are here this morning, and you've not accepted the Lord as your Lord and personal Savior, you cannot be talking about renew at this morning. You cannot be talking about renew at this morning. Your own first assignment is for you to accept God as your Lord and personal Savior so that you will become a new man. So that from this moment on, you also you will be what? You will be renewed. So that when we are praying this morning, also you also you will be able to join us and you will be renewed also. And that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. It's even possible you've accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior at a particular time, but you've gone astray. God is calling unto you this morning. It's just what you are here this morning want to reconcile with God. You want to join us as a church. You want to join us in that public prayer. You want to be partaker of that blessing this morning. You are here. Let's just bow our heads this morning. Let's close our eyes. You are here this morning. You want to be partaker of that blessing that we are talking about. You want to be partaker of this blessing of Christian convocation, the upper room experience. You just want to say, Daddy, forgive me. I know I'm a sinner. Can I just see your hand this morning? Can you just wave to him this morning? Daddy, just accept me, O Lord. Father, I want to be part of those that will receive that renewal this morning. Can you just, just talk to God? Just, you are not, don't look at the person by your side. I can see your hand. Any other person, you can join this morning. You can join this morning. So that you will not just be an onlooker. By the time every one of us in this sanctuary will be renewed. If you are here this morning and you know you are not in right position with God, talk to Almighty. Just raise up your hand this morning. So that you will not just be looking when people are being renewed. Just talk to Almighty God this morning. Your hand, I want to see your hand. I know there are still more people. There are still more people. If you know that you are, that I can see another hand at that part, that hand. See that hand? God is talking to you. God is ready to renew. And if you look at this church, almost 90% of people in this church, we are what? We are youth. God is ready to renew. So you are the only one that can stop me this morning. So if you are here this morning, you are no, you know, you want to join all the these people, my brothers and my sisters that praise. Can I see your hand this morning? You know, you know, you know this morning. Raise up your hand this morning. Because it is one thing to be in the church. It is another thing to be blessed. So for you to be blessed this morning, you must be a new man. And that is when you can be talking about renewal. Any other person that would like to join this spirit? So if you have card in your hand, can you, can you just take a step of faith by just, just stand on your feet this morning? Just stand on your feet. Just stand on if you have card with you this morning. If you have card with you. And trust in this presence of being. So, 
my brother and my sister. I just want you to, for the four people that are standing, can you just put your right hand on your chest this morning? And just go before the Lord and say, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior this morning. Daddy, Lord, forgive me all my sins. Daddy, Lord, Father, from this moment on, I'm now a new man. Daddy, Lord, Father, I'm now a new man. And pray to Almighty God this morning that you will not go back in the mighty name of Jesus. That even as we are talking about being renewed on a constant basis this morning, that every day of your life from this moment on, you will be renewed on a daily basis. Talk to Almighty God this morning. Talk to Him this morning. God is so happy. Heaven, heaven, heaven. There is, there, is, there is joy in heaven. They are rejoicing in heaven because of you this morning. You are new. You are new this morning. And you are being renewed even from this moment on. And God will do that for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will not go back in the mighty name of Jesus. And that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You can have your seat. Choir, please. Let's be on our feet this morning. We've said you can be renewed by waiting on the Lord. We are here this morning. For us to be here is just because we know we have a father. And we said the second major way that we can be renewed is by us praying. And we said you can pray on your own. You can pray private prayer. And you can pray as a church as public prayer. So that is why we are praying this morning as a church, that the Lord will renew us as a church. And you know when we are talking about church, we are talking about the born-again Christian. That was why we called it our altar call, so that every one of us will be partaker of that blessing this morning, so that God will renew us. So let your power flow. your healing call in this place we cry for signs and wonders in this place that your presence shows in this place yeah Power 
manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Hey, 
There's one ailment or the other. Just cry this morning. In spite of the thing that God can forget, He can do it. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Like that day of upper room experience. We are experiencing it this morning.